Well, I was just going to give a second snippet today and maybe tomorrow. Uh, it kind of looks like this weekend. Well, tomorrow and Sunday. Well, Sunday don't paint anyway. Tomorrow uh, is going to be real busy. And I ended up getting done uh, more than I thought today, actually, on these rocks. I'm quite happy with how things are going. Um, I still have a bit of a runway here, but it's broken up, you know. A seagull could land on here if it came from this direction, but it would probably trip right there. So it would be embarrassing for him. So I didn't want to design it that way. So anyway, I've broken this up. Uh, uh, another thing that I love about, you know, uh, rock strata, anything can happen. You know, geological events, uh, freeze, thaw, uh, freeze thaw cycles, different lighting, what have you. So it gives you a lot of freedom to play with the rock. And that's what I've got here, what I'm shooting for anyway, a lot of variety, just different shapes all on one mound. It still has a bit of the look of something prehistoric rising out of the water. That's okay. That's the flavor. It's a stylized painting. Um, it's, it's like you're imbuing your own imagination into a scene. So that works for me. Um, yeah, okay, I think I explained these colors in the earlier snippet. I'd like to take, I think, these purples, ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson, some raw umber, and you'll see some of this amongst the, 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 the crevasses or crevices in this sort of sandstony looking stuff off to the left. Uh, and uh, somewhat in here as well, maybe even in this crack, just to sort of, uh, just so it's not all, only in this area, it's really good to introduce, you know, some colors throughout different parts of the painting. Um, so that's my plan there. I don't think I want to put a lot more light here. I may raise the chroma a little bit, but I don't think I'm going to go up much in value on these rocks. Uh, I, I'm very tempted to because that would help to join this design to this design. But I don't know that that's going to be necessary if I can pop the val or pop the uh, the chrome up a little bit on these. So we have this sort of sky doing this sort of thing. It's opposed by the hill doing this sort of thing. But actually, the values on the foreground on this not hill but knoll or you know uh, bedrock is more like this. What I think I'd like to do is reestablish uh, or, or, or help to anchor this area by, I, I think I am going to, like I've got really high values here, as I said, probably the highest values or equal to the highest values I'll have on the painting. I think that I'm going to have some ripple of water here going pretty horizontal. I don't think I'm going to angle anything. I'm not, I'm not planning on creating a wave pattern too much, just different ways that the, that the water will catch some light. It's not really going to be a reflection of the island. It's going to be a reflection of ambient light. In combination with refraction of what lies beneath the water. So I think I'm going to have some ripples here that will be quite high value as well. And that will sort of help to, to make the, the base feel very solid. Much of this water will be quite dark, I think. Um, anyway, that's my plan. We'll see how it goes. I just wanted to sit here or stand here and, and, and yammer away a little bit for a moment because I don't think I'm going to see you until, or well, I guess I don't see you, it'll be you seeing me uh, until Monday. Uh, I think I'm just going to dedicate the rest of the weekend, or the weekend, to not painting. So I wish you all a really good weekend. Um, hope the weather's great where you are. It's not bad here, actually. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you Monday. Maybe Tuesday. Probably Monday. See you.